Hello and welcome in. My name is Drumroll Tony. I'm a streamer and Twitch musician and music teacher living in Seattle. Now, I had a nice conversation with Vervim Juggernaut in the comments of one of my YouTube videos, and uh, it led to this recommendation. We're going to be checking out Deeds of Flesh. What a great band name, by the way. And uh, the drummer is Darren Seska, and this is a full drum playthrough of the song Nucleus. So I'm excited to hear this. Let's go. House of Grind. So that's nice crescendo and build. Wow, dude. Okay, that was an onslaught of notes from the beginning. Let's go. Uh, the guitar part's really cool, too. Sorry. Sorry, I got to go back. There's just too much going on, man. I couldn't... It was like... Just basically those differences between the open and closed sounds on the guitar and with the drums were. That's fascinating, man. Just like the transitions between where we're going on the, where we're going, where he's going on the kit to feet, to snare, to toms, to guitar, to palm mute stuff, to more open stuff like that. It was really, really smart design in the playing on that part. Super fun. There's just a lot of in the feet just going the whole time. It's fun to like watch where he's like looking around and thinking like melodically, like rhythm melody, you know, like where we're choosing and how our patterns are working. But the distribution of like top end rhythm to then, sorry, top end body rhythm to low end body rhythm, very, very, very smooth. Back five, let's keep going. Pretty good. Uh, really liking that. Digga da 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 are like little three note combinations with the choices he's making there. But then that fill going into that was stupidly good. It's just, okay, this is pretty wild. Like, this is beyond my beyond my magical dreams of, man, I wish I could do this. This is not, this is just out there. Uh, when we get into the blast stuff, it's interesting to see, like, how crisp the, usually, I mean, I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm speaking a little bit ignorantly here. Um, from my experience when I've seen the blast stuff, you know, and I, I'm, I look at the right hand first to see what's going on here, but then I look at the snare, like, look at the heights in the snare drum, and usually it's down a little bit. I feel like he, he's got some pretty healthy, uh, beefy heights there, really. Pushing it there, so the chop level is pretty extreme just as far as controlling that speed. Uh, that's wild. Let's, <laughs> there's a lot to take in. Oh, I, okay. Nice yeah, thought there. Well, that was interesting going from that double stroke in there. I think I misspoke earlier. I just saw him do the gravity blast. I just meant um, blast beat. I think some of the some of the stuff I get turned around on just because I don't really have experience like playing this kind of percussion. Just just an observer by far. Just an observer. I want to hear this double stroke thing though. That's sick. Hmm. 
Very cool. So, I mean, obviously the impressive, like in your face and you get a lot of it is like, you know, how smooth the transitions, how many notes are happening around the toms, how many notes are happening in the feet. But honestly, my favorite part so far was a diggity gat, diggity gat, and how melodic it was between the guitar parts playing their part and the transitions, not transitions, but just like the exchange of like rhythm melodies, the drums. I just think that's good. That's just good writing. And it's interesting to listen to. So even though it's like not nearly as complicated as what he, all the other stuff he's playing, but it's just it should be noted, like how cool it is to hear. Just left hand. My God, dude! Did you hear the bass part there? The electric bass part. That was. I'm gonna go back ten seconds to grab that. I know it's a drum playthrough, but still, we got to give props to the the guitarist here. Bass. Okay, there's so much, uh, there's so many smooth transitions going from blast to gravity to fills to double bass. I don't understand how he's that smooth. Like, that's pretty cool. That's very, very cool to witness. Well, we understand it's practice hours, right? It's, you're witnessing someone who has logged an exceptional amount of time and honoring their craft. It's just pretty fucking sick, man. <laughs> Wow, that's cool. Uh, it was funny. I was about to make a comment about the juke, 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 our eighth note pass. I was like, take a breath, take a break for a second. But it was only like a bar and eighth, a bar of eighth notes, and then we right, right back into it. Uh, equally, though, the guitarists and the basses are filling in, you know, the same. Now, of course, you know, this motion, you know, whether you're playing here or here, is not the same as how much, if you want to like evaluate the cardio that has to go in, the drummer has the biggest, the biggest job there. So, uh, I'm impressed with everybody, but I'm exceptionally impressed with the drummer just because you're working so hard. Bergen boy. Or sorry, I can't sing that the way I want to sing it, but basically going from those doubles to the uh, the blaster, that was pretty fun. Uh, again, the use of space is nice, especially considering how many notes are happening. You know, there's like a lot of ink, and then suddenly we have some places to open up there. Just it's fun. <laughs> What was that? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. What was that? One, uh, so beat one as a six, six note triplets. So then we have triplets in the rest of the beat. That is a super fun. Just to hear how like crispy that bass is. The kick is. <laughs> okay, that that's like the only one I can understand. I'm like, okay, I can identify the pattern. Everything else, too godlike. Out, 
that that's like a demonstration of how to be a perfect metronome um and just isolation is changing between eight four two one and like six right like all these um combinations relative to your quarter note this dude has at a flawless level of dynamic execution and consistency every time it's very 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 impressive to me That was beautiful that was absolutely beautiful what a work of freaking art there man it's cool to look at his uh his left hand though and to see you know his um sorry this is making noises oh it's the outro hold on okay cool uh it's fun though to see his match grip kind of turn over and then we just have a lot of pull going on in here obviously there's still like wrist motion a little bit of forearm but you can see the utilization of so much positive energy. Like every, every, you know, teacher you have, when you come with your music, everyone talks about like, what does it mean to stay relaxed and how to harness things? Like let the drum help you or whatever your instrument is, you know, whether it's air control, like how are you working with your embouchure and like controlling sounds versus, you know, instead of like just everything being so intense and overly done, like that was perfect. And so many things happened. I mean, and I can't pretend I understand them. I mean, I can like stand back and look like, okay, you know, I play drums in a very different way, but it's not like I can like, I can't comment on this intelligently because I don't have the, uh, <laughs> I don't have the skill set. but goddamn, that was a lot of fun to watch though. And be like, this is a great demonstration of how to do this like flawlessly. So thank you for that recommendation. My name is Drummer Old Tony. Make sure to catch me when I'm live on Twitch. We can talk about your favorite drummers or just music in general. You can find a link to my Twitch channel in the video description below, as well as the Discord. If you like this video, please click that thumbs up button. Subscribe to the channel. Thanks so much for watching. I appreciate you. Take it easy. Bye-bye.